Okay, so we got another job here, pink t-shirt. And I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, it's a bit, it's red on red, but do you see the uh, inside of our laser? We have uh, a red beam and we can turn that on and off. So before we cut, we can always quickly check if we're registered in case there's some sort of an issue or whatever. So you just save time and headache. Go ahead. So another rule is the higher, this is a 50 watt laser here, right? You can get a 100 watt, you can get a 200 watt laser, you can get the universal power source, laser source, or you can get the uh, SINRAD one. Okay, pull that off, Stephen. We're following the hoop, so there are no video Hollywood tricks here. And again, we'll just show you the cleaning of the foil, how straightforward it is. Take that little piece out before or no? Make no does it make a difference. This is Grand River Dance Academy, established in. Do you remember what year it was? Ninety-eight, apparently. Follow the hoop. Again, so this laser is under eight feet tall. It's single phase electricity, 240 volts. This is a 50 watt. You can get it in higher power. You can get it 70, a 65 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt if you like. The higher the wattage, the more it vaporizes. So the quicker the cut. Done. Pull that off. Go to the cleaning table, the cleaning station. And I, I'm showing you the cleaning of the foil because people say it's such a bad thing, but with the applique, there's less cleaning than with traditional embroidery and you can do things that you can't do by hand. Look how small the letters are. And we use contrast stitching just to show off. You don't have to do that, obviously, but we just want to show you the edges and how close you can cut to the stitch, obviously. So this isn't uh, Stephen's job here, cleaning. Usually we have one of the girls fly through this. Stephen runs the laser all day. And when I make him clean, he learns to use all the techniques so that he doesn't have to actually do it. So he gets better and better at it. Go through with the, um, and, and knock them all out first. There you go. That's a tackle twill and it's a lot tougher than felt. It's a lot stronger. Go and get the GRDA then. Oh. So just to summarize, I'm six foot three. 
And this laser here is basically under eight feet. That fits in virtually any place. It comes in three pieces. It comes with the laser itself and then the actual stand and that stand splits in half. So one pallet, you don't need uh, any special long flatbed truck, anything like that. This laser is adaptable to a bridge when you're ready to expand, but the problem is many embroidery shops have their embroidery machines in a C shape. Many of them have them back to back or they have them in aisles. So there's no room for those long gantries. So if you have a, um, a shop where you have, let's say a six head, four head, six head, or I've seen many shops six head, in a C shape, then what we would do is we put the NGL laser at this part of the room and we would also put the uh, hooping press right beside it. So that way any one of the hoops that come off can go straight to the laser. So one person can be lasering and all of the three machines can be producing pieces and you could be running, let's say, just for argument's sake, Coca-Cola here, you can run Grand River Dance Academy here, you can run the NGL logo on this bank. So you could be running three different jobs at a time and your, your embroidery machines are constantly running because you're not sitting there plus, placing letters down. In the sample kit that we have, you can call us or go on the online at permabosslaser.com. We show the NGL sample that we made here so you can touch it, see it, feel it. We include the foil, we include the uh, felt so you can see how easy that whole thing came apart. We kept all the scrap pieces. And there's also a lot of corporate logos in there to show how we did applique with embroidery, how we did tackle twill, how we did felt and we reduced the stitch count, how we did two or three or four layers on something because you can do corporate. It's not just the Hollister, Abercrombie, collegiate, distressed look. You can do very corporate professional things but you have a laser that costs less than a third. A third of a bridge laser has the same power, similar software, just our way of doing it which we simplified. We think that after being distributors for 10 years and dealing with the technical issues from some of the European products and always being at the mercy of somebody else, we thought, you know what, we can simplify that. We have a better way of doing it. And the reason is because we're the ones selling it to you, the North Americans, and the North Americans go, hey, why don't you do it that way? Why aren't you doing it like this? And, and we can't argue with that because they were good ideas. But the old story goes, why did it take a hundred years to get a drink cup holder in a Mercedes-Benz. Because the argument was, you don't need that drinking when you're driving. Yeah, you stop when you have the coffee, but we're driving full speed on the Autobahn. So I make that as a joke. And the reason I say that is because it's impossible sometimes to tell the Europeans, we need this in America. And they say, this is the best way. This is the way we're doing it. And only after you know, somebody like Parmabas gets fed up and the customers get fed up with that product, do we go and create a solution that's unique and different. It's made here, the laser sources, the two choices are plug and play. We use the Sinrad product and we use the Universal product. And the reason we have two choices is because somebody prefers one or the other. Now on the diagram, in the specifications, the Sinrad laser beam is more fine, is more precise, is more sharp than the Universal. In this product we use the Universal. And we use the lowest power one that we can use, 50 watt. You can put a f 100 watt in at any time later on. We just did a demo with the lowest power laser. If you have a preference, you can choose the other one. It costs more, but we wanted to have several options so you could get the one you preferred. The argument is more power, smaller spot, more uh, vaporization of the material, less smoke, less uh, burning effect, less, you know, on the whites and the pinks and the blues, the light blues, less of that uh, burn effect. So that's the advantage. But if you're not dealing with that all the time, you don't do applique with t-shirts, but you do the felt, you do the tackle tool, there's absolutely no issue with the 50 watt laser. You can upgrade it. Don't forget, get what you need. Get the business rolling. Permaboss guarantees that your laser is profitable in 90 days or less. That's a big, big difference. Nobody in the industry does it, and certainly nobody does it in a registration. So that's my speech. Go to permabosslaser.com, check us out, get the uh, kit so you can educate yourself. It's more like an encyclopedia. Uh, and, and that's what we're doing here is come and see us or get the laser for yourself and start making money in a recession and make it hands over fist because you will do what 95% of the other embroidery shops can't do. That's the whole goal. Prof a profitable, proven decoration alternatives and that's what we're about. Thanks for your time.